Welcome to another episode today. You are going to learn three different ways on how to multiply polynomials and simplify questions like this. Hopefully one of these three ways makes sense. And we're going to start off with the first one, the most traditional way, which is just distributing. To distribute this out, you're going to look at your very first term and you're going to multiply that to the other terms in the other parentheses. And let's do that one by one. First, we're going to do 2m times 4m. And don't forget that m times m is m squared. Now you're going to connect that 2m to the other term, negative 7. Don't forget that, that that is a negative right there. 2m times negative 7n is negative 14mn. And these variables, if there's multiple variables, you're going to want to put them in alphabetical order just to organize them better. Now that I'm done distributing this, we're going to move on to the other term right here, which is 7n and pretty much do the same thing. So 7n times 4m is 28nm, but that is the same thing as 28mn. And that is important because we're going to end up combining it with this term right here. And that is also the reason why you want to put them into alphabetical order. The other thing too, and if they are like terms, this is just my own style. Instead of writing it here, might as well put it down here. That way you know that they are like terms and that they match. The last part that you're going to multiply is 7n times negative 7n, which is going to result into negative 49n squared. And this is really nice because they are like terms already and they match nice and organized. All we got to do is combine like terms. 8m squared is going to drop. These two are like terms. That's just going to be a positive 14. Do not change the exponents. That is just combined like terms. So you're going to leave that mn minus 49n squared. And if you don't like that, let's try a second method. So if that method did not make sense, hopefully this one does. And this one's good for the ones who are visual learners. This one's called the box method. What you're going to do is pick the parentheses that has the most terms. And you're going to write that out right above here like this. u squared plus 2uv plus v squared. And you're going to draw a box that looks like this. The other set of parentheses we're going to write on the side like this. 8u. And remember that that is a negative 7v. Negative 7v. You're going to split these up into boxes like this. So that's going to be a 2 by 3 box. Basically, there's one space for each term on the top and on the bottom. Now that you got that set up, all you got to do is multiply each term where they're going to meet. So these two are going to meet in this box, and that is just 8u times u squared, which results into 8u to the third power. And you're pretty much going to do that for each box. So this box is going to be u squared times negative 7v. Remember to put them in alphabetical order negative 7 u squared v. This one is going to be 2 u v times 8 u, which is 16 u squared v. Moving on to the one at the bottom, it's going to be negative 14 u v squared. This one on the right is going to be 8 u v squared. And the last one is going to be negative 7 v squared times v is v the third. Just because they all have u v like this, doesn't mean that you can combine them all. The exponents got to match. So you can't combine this and this because that's got a two and this one has an imaginary one. But the nice thing is it makes this pattern that every diagonal is going to be like terms because that's u squared v and the green ones are u v squared. So we're just going to start off with this one that doesn't have anything like terms with it. So that's going to be eight u to the third power. These two, if you combine 16 minus 7, is going to be a positive 9 u squared v. Once again, pay attention to the coefficients. 8 minus 14 is going to be negative 6 u v squared, and negative 7 v to the third is by itself. And if that one made absolutely no sense, we'll take it back to multiplying the old school way, which is called the vertical method. Once again, we are going to start with the one with the most terms and rewrite that on the top. This one we're going to write at the bottom. This is exactly how you multiply regular numbers. We're going to start with this term and multiply to each one of these like the old school way. So negative 8n times negative n squared. Don't forget that there's a one there. So that's going to be a positive 8n to the third. 
and you're just going to repeat that pattern for each one of these. Negative 8n times 8mn is negative 64mn squared. Don't forget that this one was positive. And negative 8n times 3m squared is going to be negative 24m squared n. And just like regular multiplication, now we move on to this term. 8m times negative 1n squared is going to be negative 8mn squared. And it's going to be like terms with this one, which is kind of nice. 8m times 8mn is a positive 64m squared n, like terms, so it's nice. And 8m times 3m squared is a positive 24m to the third power. Now this is nice and organized, and all we got to do is combine like terms. And if there is nothing to combine it with, all you got to do is drop it down. 8n to the third this one is going to turn into negative 72 m n squared negative 24 and a positive 64 is a positive 40 m squared n and 24 m to the third is going to be by itself so this is the simplified version hopefully one of those made sense which one do you like the most personally i like this one because i'm old school if that did help like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next episode peace